Two COFA tennis players will take their games to the college level next season. Hey everybody, I'm Scott Gross. Hard work and determination has paid off for Jacob Cadillo and Azelia Lara. Now both will swing their tennis rackets for Paradise Valley Community College next year. In front of family, friends and coaches, Cadillo and Lauda signed their college letters of intent to Paradise Valley Community College. Cadillo was the Kings number one single and was also in the school's number one doubles team which made the state tournament. COFA boys head coach Santo Rangel says Jacob is one of those hard to find athletes always working to improve his game. Jacob says playing tennis in college was never on his radar. I did not. For me, I was more of a soccer player. I played soccer for about 11 years and I, I did football, but due to my injury, I tried something out. Um, so I was like, why not try tennis? Something different. Next thing you know, here I am going to college for it. And Jacob would like to be an athletic trainer or a physical therapist. Now, Azalea, uh, she also signed her LOI today to play for the girls' tennis team at Paradise Valley. Uh, Lada was the Lady Kings' number three single and also part of the number three doubles team. Kofa girls' tennis head coach Alan Grimes says Azalea is one of the hardest workers he's ever coached. Her work ethic allowed her the opportunity to play at the next level, and Azalea credits Coach Grimes for helping make it happen. He's... Uh just a great guidance. He's an amazing guidance and it's it's just opened so many windows for me to explore and be and just be able to have a different perspective on things, one I can appreciate and enjoy. Azalea plans to major in the health field and we wish both athletes the very best in their future endeavors. To prep playoff soccer from last Friday at Holtville High School, a very nice crowd on hand. With 15 minutes left in regulation, the Vikings trail 2-1 senior Laura Mendoza with the throw in. A watch footwork by senior captain Amanda Strump. She puts on a long shot and somehow gets by the goalie. Vikings tie the score in the second half at 2. Now the game would go into overtime. Vikings head coach Sadie Ming, she's going to give us all a vote of confidence. There we go. Oh yeah. Early in the extra frame, the Vikings would be called for a penalty near their goal. Now this would set up Morse with a shot to win the game, but the kick will sail over the head of the net and netminder Braylon Tran. Vikings dodge an early bullet. Now with under five minutes and sudden death, watch this kick. Yes, it's going to bounce its way over the head of the goaltender. The Vikings junior captain, Leslie Sandoval, gets the game winner from over 100 feet away. The Vikings win in overtime by a score of 3-2 to two. on to the semifinals now this Tuesday. Uncharted waters um, and last year it really was a devastating loss. We had beat the number one seed in our first match. And so I think we kind of saw it as smooth sailing. Um, but you know how sports are. Mm -hmm. Every game can kind of go however and so I'm hopeful that the girls will show up in the, with the same attitude and get the job done again. Top seeded Vikings will host the four seeded Cobras of Chula Vista Learning Community Charter tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Vikings looking to notch their first ever championship appearance. Now the Central Spartans girls soccer team will also try to advance to the division championship for the first time in school history tomorrow. The Spartans will host the 10 seed Sage Creek at 5 o'clock in El Central. Imperial also has a chance to move on. The Tigers will travel to San Diego tomorrow to take on the top seeded Southwest SD Raiders. Now let's go to boys prep soccer. The seven seed Calexico Bulldogs travel to El Cajon on Wednesday in the Division II semifinals versus the three seeded Valhalla Norseman. Now in Division V, Holtville, the five seed travels to Foothills Christian to face the top seeded Knights. And one more quick note, San Diegan and Arizona State grad Phil Mickelson becomes the oldest major champion with a two-shot win at the PGA Championship yesterday. More on this story tomorrow. In the NBA, the Suns won their first home playoff game in over a decade. That was yesterday against the Lakers. Game two will be tomorrow. And in Major League Baseball, the Dodgers win and the Padres and Diamondbacks fall tonight. That's all the time we have for sports.